All right, so we're back, and uh, I was gonna do this whole vlog and like using the bands, and then I realized I can't really do two things at once. What? Huh? What? What was I doing? See? So now we're gonna do a quick review of the good, the bad, and the ugly of these resistance bands. Starting with the good. Hands down, the best thing about these bands is the variety that you get. You get five different types of bands, versus the two that you get with crossover symmetry. Now these bands range from five pounds all the way up to 25 pounds. And if you've ever used a resistance band, you know that that's kind of a rough guesstimate based off the amount of tension that the band can create. But it does give you a good little base point of knowing which movement you're gonna do and how much resistance you're expecting. So you may be thinking to yourself, I'll never use a 25 pound band. But what if you want to do something more like a chest fly or a banded row? These bands can be customized and used in so many ways that you probably haven't even thought about. Like, literally, you might not even be able to imagine the number of exercises you can do with these bands. I mean, they could be used for prehabilitation, rehabilitation, activation, warming up, cooling down, strength training. Literally every part of your workout could utilize these bands if you know the moves. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing, all the different types of ways you could use a tool like this, make sure you hit that like button down there for me or leave me a comment. Another great thing about the design of these is they're color coded. So when you're trying to find the matching tool on either side of the rig, it's super easy to do. You just grab the yellow one and the yellow one, crisscross them and get to work. And while working with them, I've never even been concerned about the build quality. The carabiners seem solid, the bands feel sturdy, and even the handles, when I opened them, I wasn't really sure, but the more I use them, the more I actually kinda like them. And let's not forget about the price. I mean, I have to say, this weighed heavily on my factor of deciding whether or not to get crossover symmetry or these Valor bands, and the fact that these are $80 versus $195, and then on top of that, getting the five levels of resistance versus only two with crossover symmetry, it was a no-brainer. If you've never heard of Valor Fitness, let me just vouch for them in saying that they are a local brand based out of Florida, and their equipment is used across all of the CrossFit competitions here. It's basically like the Rogue Fitness of Florida. All right, enough praising these things. Let's talk about what's not good about these. So after using these for a few weeks, i found that I have a couple of gripes about them. The biggest one being how much space is required for you to distance yourself from the rig or wherever you've mounted the bands in order to get the appropriate resistance. It seems like you need to be about eight, maybe even 10 feet away. So before you purchase these, make sure you measure out the room that you're gonna use them in, that you have that space that you need in order to use them effectively. Now, having said that, if you're already confined to an eight foot space, you probably can't move your arms uh, in a full range of motion anyways, so that's really not that big a deal. The other bad thing originally that I thought about these was I thought the handles felt kinda cheap. But, like I said earlier, the more I use them, the more I actually like them. I don't know if it's me breaking them in or them breaking me in, but I don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere or break like I originally thought when I was unpacking them. Since there's not that much bad stuff, let's talk about the ugly. Now the ugly is actually something that I put in the good column and that's having five levels of resistance. And the only reason I say that is because having five bands hanging from the rig on either side at the same time just looks really overwhelming. When I'm squatting, I seem to be distracted by the fact that there's 10 rubber bands hanging from my rig. I feel a little bit more claustrophobic for some reason and it just looks like I've got multicolored dreadlocks hanging off of my squat rack. Now, you can always store up a couple of the bands that you don't think you're normally gonna use, or if you're gonna travel with them to the gym regularly, maybe you have certain ones mounted at home, mounted at the gym, it comes with a travel bag. You can pack up the ones you don't plan to use and save them away. So when you do need them, you've got them. And even using the bag was super easy. You just open it up, throw the stuff in, cinch it tight, and it's not going anywhere. Now it's not the most sturdy bag and it's not the sexiest bag, but it gets the job done and it's easy to use. The bag even has enough space to take all 10 bands and all 10 handles. So if you're only taking one or two, you'll be fine. This actually kind of turns into a good thing because if you're having to take multiple bands with you someplace, you're not having to take just one pair of handles and then have to change it out every time you wanna use a different band. You can literally take the handles for each band and the bands and put them in this bag, 
Then when you get there, all you gotta do is loop them up on the rig. Easy peasy. So I guess really there weren't too many fatal drawbacks to these bands. Am I gonna keep them? Am I gonna keep using them? Yeah. Am I gonna keep all five on the rig? I don't know. Jury's still out on that one. It doesn't look that bad the more days I go by with it, but sometimes I feel like I only need one or two on there. But in the short time I have used them, I felt a huge difference in my overhead stability and range of motion, which if you watched my GoWad video, I'll link it up here, you know that that was my biggest limiter. So I think it's a really good purchase. I mean, you're getting a lot of variety in resistance. You're getting a tool that's gonna help you with your mobility. You're getting a tool that can be used in a number of different ways and it's costing you less than half of the price of the leading competitor. No brainer. Guys, this is the end of the video. This is the part where I ask you, hey, if you're not already subscribed, hit that little red button and click the bell and do all the things. So please hit that little red button and do all the things. If you haven't clicked that like button and you made it this far, please go ahead and do that. That helps me out a ton and I'll see you guys next time. Later.